These are a few of my favorite things. Straight out of Narawahia, New Zealand. Here's Mario. Hello, Mario's daily vlog, number 556, Five Favorites Challenge. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, I see people doing all these challenges and asking questions, so I pretty much had an inside day today, as we'll, we'll talk about later, so I needed to come up, well, I wanted to come up with something a little bit different from my vlog, and I thought, well, I'd, I'd like to have a go at one of those question challenges, I've seen a few of them on, so I had a look at them, and I tried to find one that, well, perhaps might suit me, but, uh, well, I couldn't find any immediately that I... I've seen ones along the way, but I just couldn't find anything that I thought would uh, do what I wanted to do. So I thought, oh, well, bugger it. <laughs> I'll do my own. So um, I'm putting up this uh, challenge here for anyone, anyone who wants to uh, do it, uh, the Five Favourites Challenge. And uh, ve vegetable, so your favourite fruit. Favourite vegetable, favourite treat, you know, candy, lollies, chocolate. Favourite main meal when you go to the restaurant. And your favourite pudding or dessert. That's what my challenge is going to be. But um, before I go to that, I, you might notice a few little... Oh, and not forgetting the high 3.5. Uniquely Mario. Very few people can do the high 3.5. Um... I've changed uh, my title of my vlog a little bit. I've sort of changed it over to Mario's daily vlog. I've added that in there. And uh, I thought, well, that might be more representative of what I do. I don't, people may not realize that I do it daily because um, that point puts a certain um, restrictions and caveats and things on what you do and your ability to do, unless you have an extremely exciting life and uh, that you're doing this full time but I'm not doing this full time I have a job and uh, I also have uh, quite a bit of uh, I have a very old house uh, <laughs> that I need to maintain so um, time is limited time is poor so I just thought I'd uh, get that in there and this is my way of doing uh, the daily vlog but anyway let's uh, let's go to the uh, to the challenge and uh, well, here it is here. So we'll go over here to the uh, to the um, challenge. And first up, my favourite fruit. And here it is. My favourite fruit. I think I've said this before. Is the golden queen peach, the queen of peaches, the golden queen peach. My all-time favourite piece of fruit. I look forward to the Golden Queen peaches coming into the shop. So it's a huge highlight of my year. I come home to my wife and say, they've got Golden Queen peaches. The Golden Queens are out. And uh, then for a for this season, I uh, feast on Golden Queen peaches. And uh, yes, I, my blood oozes the Golden Queen juice. So that's my favourite uh, fruit, the Golden Queen Peach. What's your favourite? Or you could do a challenge of your, you know, video challenge or in the comments below the video. Now my favourite vegetable, I know what you're saying. Is the tomato a vegetable or not? But well, it, might, it is a fruit. I, th I think technically it could well be a fruit. I'm not sure. I, mean, I know there's an argument about it. But my, yes, my favourite vegetable has to be the tomato. The tomato. I, I like to, well, I believe that the simple life is the best life. And for me, um, you know, just uh, some tomatoes on, uh, on a bit of toast or something like that, or just some stewed tomatoes. Is that is that is bliss? That is the ultimate, um, 
yeah, the ultimate in simplicity, and uh, yeah, that's it's my favourite vegetable, the tomato. Fortunately, I'm not um, allergic to the tomatoes, although I do recall I did do some sort of hair analysis thing that might have suggested that tomatoes were not my friends, but well, I certainly prepared to suffer the ill effects of tomato overdose because that <laughs> they're beautiful beautiful all right now my favorite treat now this is just the little six little bits of chocolate and this is my go-to treat i have to say cadbury's dairy milk the little bar of chocolate i have to be a bit careful to try and just limit myself to these but one of these and um oh, i just put the six little bits sometimes if i'm driving i'll have one i break up the six chunks and i put them and i just put them in my mouth and let them melt in my mouth followed sometimes with a oh a cup of tea or a cup of honey tea oh yes that's this is my go-to treat Excellent, my favorite, all time favorite um, thing. And it's got to be the little bar, not the big bar. I don't like the big bars, just the little six bits of chocolate there on their own. Oh man, that's uh, certainly my uh, favorite there. Now, for my favorite main dish at restaurants, well, as you know, I'm a little bit challenged with motor school challenged and things like that and so the old knife and fork um, can be a bit well a bit awkward and a bit embarrassing sometimes of people watching me cutting things up and, and sometimes I have to get my wife to help me with the, the the steaks and what have you but the old pork ribs well I can grab them by the bone. I don't know whether this is quite a good example, but but if, but if maybe just a, if I can get them with the fork and get the that lovely sauce smashed all over my face. And I've always loved. I don't know. I hope these are pork ribs. I'm not sure they may not be, but they're in my mind they're pork ribs. My favourite, definitely. Oh. Just so much my favourite go-to meal, and it fits my fits my uh, abilities, my culinary uh, skills, and what have you. And uh, well, and and then they usually bring a little bowl of lemon water to wash your hands, and uh, invariably it's a huge meal, huge, huge, huge meal. So yes, my favourite main is the uh, yeah pork ribs, pork ribs. So and that brings us to my last, the fifth of my favourites here. And for my favourite pudding or dessert, which I may well have spelt wrong, <laughs> perhaps it should have two s's, um, but never mind. Uh, my favourite dessert, ice cream and jelly ice cream and jelly but in particular lime jelly love the lime jelly this lime jelly's always been my favorite i don't know whether it's the irish uh, love of the green but certainly the lime jelly now you can see that my lime jelly there's tinged a little maybe a little red tinge to it that's because i couldn't find a picture with lime jelly so i had to uh, color it green uh, using Photoshop. So uh, yes, lime jelly and vanilla ice cream. Vanilla ice cream or hokey pokey, maybe. And on occasion, yeah, French vanilla. But none of your other fancy stuff. Just the simple ice cream and jelly. And the jelly's got to be stiff, not runny. Yeah. And that, that there is my favourite things, my five favourite things. So if you, um, well, you can agree with me, you can write a comment um, below the video, you could make your own video of your five 
five faves, as they say. So, um, yeah, so that's it. That's my five favourite challenge in today's vlog. So, um, yeah, what I'm going to do now is, well, I, I, you can see there, I got prepped up for the diary, but I'm going to go to the diary there. And uh, here's the diary. So Saturday the 27th. Now, I've made a bit of a pact that um, I've got this exam to write. So I'm putting that above all else. How far have I got with it? Well, yes, not as far as I've liked. I have had a few distractions, I have to say. But I haven't been outside. I haven't been mowing. I've been looking at the mowing. And then I think I, we got a little bit, I heard some rain on the roof tonight. So 88 steps. I think that's my worst day ever. To be fair, to be fair, I didn't have the phone, my phone with me when I was walking around the house and stuff. But 88 steps. 556, five, the five favourites challenge, which we've got, um, we've got there. And... Uh, a little brain teaser for you. A little brain teaser, sort of riddle type brain teaser. Is it a riddle or a brain? I think it. Oh, I'll leave it as a brain teaser. 190, uh, where, what, who, number 190. Still live. Still live. But um, yeah, it's a bit of an interesting one. And um, job today, exam. Nothing else. So, um, in terms of, yeah, writing exams is not exciting stuff. Um, that you can really, um, you know, report in a vlog, um, you know, I don't think people would understand the the nuances that are involved in, in the writing of an exam. So um, a bit boring. So that's why I, had, I came up with the five favourites um, option there, one of my things. So uh, yeah, well, let me know what your five favourites are. And uh, well, we'll have a look at today's challenge, which is... Uh, teaser come riddle so um yeah put a nice little one actually forwards i'm heavy backwards i'm not forwards i'm heavy backwards i'm not what am i ah see if you can get that one i get it i'm getting these a lot of some of these from a um various sites on the internet but one of them is from a site that sells pills to improve your brain function and what have you. So these are little uh, brain teasers to keep that grey matter doing what it's supposed to do and keeping the linkages going. So if you have to think hard about them to work them out, well, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. All righty. So let's have a look at uh, what yesterday's one was um, here. And uh, here it is here. And it was all about um, this uh, spinning this thing here. And uh, which one of the patterns was the odd one out? And Moz uh, guessed it, he said. I, I don't know about that, but he, he said he guessed it at number five. And it is number five because all the other spinning movements consist of three different patterns okay whereas number five only has two different patterns so that is the odd one out and uh, Moz got that apparently purely by guessing which um, means he only had a 20% chance of getting it right so he must be a um, very lucky man and perhaps he should um, well buy a lotto ticket or something like that because his luck is as luck is in, as they say. So, come in, spinner. Uh, <laughs> I think Moz will, will understand what I'm talking about. I think it's come in, spinner, I believe, is a, a, a term that is um, related to the Australian uh, game of two-up which is a, ooh, I suppose I could do a vlog on that, or Moz could do a vlog on that, um, or a video on that, the game of two up, where um, they bet on the results of two coins being thrown in the air. And um, it's uh, very popular on uh, Anzac Day. Well, I think that might be 
I'm not sure on that, but it might be a day where it's allowed under the rules or whatever. And, um, well, as far as I'm aware, in my back of my mind, it talks about this uh, come-in spinner. It's something that I recall. Anyway, more about that, I'm sure. So, uh, there we go. And that's the end of today's vlog. My fav five favourite... My five favourite ch challenge. Five favourites challenge. Um, so... We'll call it a day there. Thanks, everybody, for liking and subscribing, watching, commenting, feedback, all that marvellous stuff that you do. Hi, 3.5. And, uh, well, cheers. See you. We'll see you again tomorrow. Smash that like button.